Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We have f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus 7x plus 6. So to solve this, we consider the solution from here. Let's solve this using two different methods. So we have method 1. So for the first method here, suppose we consider from this for what is it called we have f of x plus 4 i want to apply form manipulation here i will consider from the left hand side so you know we have f of x plus 4 so this equals our x squared plus 7x plus 6 we can factorize that one so here we have x squared my plus x plus 6x and here is plus 6. So, because here is just like 1. The 1 plus 6, that is 7. And 1 times 6, that is 6. So, the product and the sum, uh, they are equal. Here is sum. And uh, this one is our product. So, I try and pair this together. We have f of x plus 4 equals x squared plus x so a is plus 6x plus 6 so they are what we have so we have f of x plus 4 equals what is common here is x we can factor it out then when we divide this one by x we have this as x plus divide this one by x that is 1 so here we have plus, we have factor out 6. So here it means x plus 1. Then we have f of x plus 4 equals, by combining this together, we have x plus 1. Then we place it beside x plus 6. Here is the complete factorization of the quadratic above. We factorize it as x plus 1 and uh, x plus 6. So what is left to us is, you know, we have our domain here. Our domain is x plus 4. So this is our domain. And we have to make this one looks the same thing as this x plus 4. And what we do here is very simple. As we have f of x plus 4 equals, if I write this thing as x plus 4, this, that is what I need. Then the initial one is x plus 1. It means I'm going to subtract 3 from this. So by subtracting 3, then we put everything in a bracket. And also for the second one, we have x plus 4, uh, x plus 6. So if I take out x plus 4 from it, this means that I'm going to so, uh, to add 2 to this one. So by adding 2, it means it is still x plus 6. So after getting this, then we cannot replace x plus 4 with x. By replacing x plus 4 with x, we have f of x equals x minus 3 multiplied by x plus x plus 2. Then let's expand this one. We have f of x equals x times x, that is x squared, plus x times 2, that is 2x. We have minus 3 times x, that is minus 3x, minus 3 times 2, that is 6. So having this, we have f of x equals x squared. So 2x minus 3x, that is minus x, and here is minus 6. So this is the quadratic we got for f of x as the first method. So let's see how we can solve this using the second method, uh, or let's say the second approach to solve this question. So let's see method 2.
So for the second method here, I'm going to apply substitution method. Suppose I let the domain, which is x plus 4, if I let it equals t, okay? Then let's make x the subject of the formula. So it means x equals t minus 4. Now, from the left-hand side, we have a quadratic. We need x squared. I've already gotten the value of x, which is 7x. So, we need x squared. So, to get that x squared, it means we are going to square this. So, by squaring this, we have x squared equals t minus 4 squared. Then, for this result, when we expand this one, we have t squared minus 8t plus 16 and also we need 7x and here is our x from here if we take it out we have 7x which is equals 7t minus 28 and by replacing everything in the given questions we have f of Instead of x plus 4, we change it to f of t equals, so for x squared, x squared has been gotten to be t squared minus 8t plus 16. Then plus 7x has been gotten to be 7t minus 28. Why the last one here is constant value and that is plus 6. Then by expanding this, so let's say we arrange this properly, we have f of t, this equals t squared minus, here is minus t minus 7t, that gives us minus t, and here we have 16, and this is 6. So by adding 16 and 6 together, we have 22, and here is minus 28. So we are showing this step by step. So here we have f of t equals t squared minus t. So 22 and this, that gives us minus 6. So let's try and replace t with x. So by replacing t with x, so both of them are domain, they are member of a number, then we have f of x equals x squared minus x minus 6. And we are done. For the first one and the second one are the same. This is how to solve this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next class. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.